Here's a timeline going from 1000 BC all the way up to the present day and I'm going to use this to explain to you how significant Aristotle was historically. If we go way back around the year zero or this whole era around here we would call this the ancient world. And then up here toward the right end we would call this the modern world or the modern era and in, in, in the middle is the Middle Ages and that's easy to remember the Middle Ages right in the middle between the ancient world and the modern world and the divisions between these eras aren't cut and dry there wasn't a particular day when the ancient world ended and the Middle Ages began but you can think of the Middle Ages some people say from 500 to 1500 this 1000 year span from 500 to 1500 AD is the Middle Ages some people put the fall of Rome in 410 AD as a, as a nice date for the end of the ancient world when the Roman Empire fell and the beginning of the Middle Ages and instead of exactly 1500 some people put the beginning of the modern world at 1543 because this is when Copernicus published a book saying that the Sun was at the center of the solar system and not the earth so th this correct explanation of the world uh, began the modern era so now let's put our thinkers on here uh, way back here around five or six hundred BC was Thales and um, in the 300s well we'll put Socrates in here first and Plato they were before Aristotle but then Aristotle in the 300s and then a little bit after them in the in the 100s around the 100s BC was uh, Archimedes and you can write all of this onto your timeline so these guys were ancient thinkers from the ancient Greek era the ancient Greeks came first and then the ancient Romans a little bit later so going back to the ancient world that were those thinkers and then in the modern era there's three guys that we're going to talk about uh, Copernicus who I just mentioned Galileo and Isaac Newton so write those names in there on your timeline these guys Copernicus Galileo and Newton these guys were the guys who helped bring in the modern era and by modern I mean a modern understanding of the world as opposed to the understand understanding of the world that Aristotle had left us with now look at this going from the ancient world all the way up through the 1500s through all of that time the understanding of the world was Aristotelian if you want to you can write this is Aristotelian Aristotelian physics that's how everybody understood the world if people wanted to know what is the world like they understood it as Aristotle had taught so for almost 2,000 years an incorrect understanding of the physical world was accepted as correct by everybody all the way up to the highest levels in the university in fact in the Middle Ages to be educated meant to know Aristotle Aristotle's books were the course of study in the medieval universities and at the time Copernicus, Copernicus and Galileo came along the professors were completely entrenched in their understanding of Aristotle students weren't even allowed to question Aristotle if you wanted to study politics you studied Aristotle's book on politics if you wanted to study biology you studied Aristotle's book on biology if you wanted to study poetry you studied Aristotle's book on poetry and if a student ever questioned what Aristotle was saying the professor could just shut the book and say the master has spoken and he they would be referring to Aristotle as the master so now now this this is all okay as long as Aristotle was correct if you're teaching Aristotle you want to you want Aristotle to be, to be correct but when it came to physics Aristotle's ideas were wrong so his incorrect understanding of physics dominated education for almost 2000 years all the way through the late Middle Ages 
and it wasn't until the 1500s and 1600s and even on into the 1700s that a correct understanding of the physical universe began to displace Aristotle's incorrect ideas. And we're going to take a look at these three guys, Copernicus, Galileo, and Newton, and look at a couple of, a couple of the things that they said and did.